Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4. This update is proving itself to be the best iOS 15 update with amazing new features and some really big features that will change the way you use your iPhone. Now in this video, we're going to talk about one of those. And of course, we're going to talk about some new features that Apple has just introduced with the third beta of iOS 15.4. And of course, performance, battery life, next update, and of course, the public release as well. So first of all, talking about iOS 15.4 beta 3, we have right here the update. It should be somewhere around 700 megabytes. That's what I got right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Of course, this will always be different on different devices, and it will also change based on which software you have currently installed on your device. Next, moving here to the build number. This is the new build number for iOS 15.4 beta 3. It's 19E. 5225G. So this is the new build number and the size of the update for iOS 15.4 beta 3. Moving on to the new features that Apple has added to iOS 15.4 beta 3. First of all, it's the podcast app. We have a couple of very useful new features that Apple has added to the podcast app. So we have filters for episodes as well as browse by season. So if a podcast that you listen to has different seasons, you can switch between different seasons very, very easily. So if we go to podcasts here, you can see we will have episodes tapping that little arrow right there. It will show you a list from where you can actually now filter the episodes of this podcast. So we can go to unplayed, we can go to the downloaded ones right there. And of course, we can also go to the played ones. Pretty cool, very useful as well. If you use the stock podcast app of Apple, that's a very welcome change. Now, if you go to a podcast that has seasons, then you can change between season by tapping right there. So you can see we have different seasons and it will change just completely to the other season. Of course, showing you all the episodes of that season that you choose from here. Pretty useful, of course, go ahead and switch quickly between any season that you need. Moving on to the settings app and right here we have a new feature that Apple has added to the storage section. So if you go to iPhone storage, you will now find right here things like Apple Inc in this case or maybe Google LLC and you go there and now it shows you data that have been shared by more apps. So you can see right there data shared by two apps that's in with iOS 15. 0.4 beta 3. Also, what I've noticed a really huge bug with iOS 15 on the settings app when you go to iPhone storage, this would actually take like a few minutes to load. Sometimes it would even load at wouldn't load at all. So it looks like that has now been fixed with beta 3. It actually loads quite fast. I've tried it a few times. It loads really, really quickly. Hopefully this has been fixed because a lot of users have reported this problem and it is really, really annoying. Another change with the settings app, if you go under face ID and passcode, you will have here required attention for face ID. Now, if you try to disable this, it will basically let you know that this way your iPhone will unlock even though your full attention is not on the phone. So basically, you're not looking at your phone. But since Apple has added a new feature that allows to unlock with mask on, it will say that it will always require your attention when you're trying to unlock your iPhone with the mask on. So even though you might turn this off, you will still need to have your full attention at your phone if you have a mask on. That way, of course, your iPhone will be more secure. And another feature right here on the stocks app. So if you go to stocks, you will have these like cards. Now these are also new on iOS 15.4. But if you tap now on the three dots, you will be able to actually copy the link to that article or share that story from here. Now, you don't actually need to 3D touch on the cards. You can do that simply by tapping the three dots right there. And this right here is the big new feature I was talking about at the beginning of the video. The ability to actually use seller data to update your device. Now, there have been glimpses of this feature in the past, but never it was never officially released. It was released just a few times in a few places. Now, it looks like is official with iOS 15.4. Now, I got this pop up when I try to update from iOS 15.4 beta 2 to beta 3, which means that this feature has been brought to iOS with beta 2. Now, you can see what happens right here. Now, if you're connected to your cellular network and you try to update, it will ask you, do you want to use a cellular network? 
to actually update. But if you're connected to Wi-Fi when trying to update like I was, you can see what it says right here. Use seller data to download. If you leave Wi-Fi, you can continue downloading using seller data. So this way, if you of course use to use seller data, your iPhone's update won't be interrupted if you leave your Wi-Fi. So you don't have to stay connected. So you can either fully download and update through seller data without ever having to connect to Wi-Fi, or you can just continue on if you leave the Wi-Fi, you don't have to be stuck at your house or somewhere on a Wi-Fi to actually download the update. You can just move around and of course, everything will be downloaded through seller data. Now, this is a big, big feature. A lot of people have unlimited plans and of course, they don't wanna stay in one place and wait for the update to download. You have seller data, you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi. Now you will be able to actually do that update using seller data on iOS 15.4. And I believe this is one of the biggest features that Apple has added with iOS 15. Talking about performance, performance with iOS 15.4 has been quite stable since beta one. So if we go right here to the Geekbench test, you can see we're getting basically the same score since beta one. There are a few slight improvements here on the multi-core score, but it's basically the same. The update, in my opinion, is quite stable. And even if you have this installed on your main device, on your daily driver, you won't actually have a, few, a huge problem on your hands because the update is quite stable. And of course, it's beta three, so you can expect that to happen. And of course, it's iOS 15.4. It's not like it's the first initial release of iOS 15. And also, if we go to battery right here, now battery is also quite good on iOS 15.4. And now with beta three, I have to test this in a few days, of course, to see how it sends, but it looks, in my opinion, quite normal, just basically the same level as the battery was with beta with actually iOS 15.3. I don't actually see a lot of big changes here on the battery life. It seems constant for me since the release of iOS 15. I'm basically getting about the same battery life. No major changes since the release of iOS 15. Now, of course, with this release that Apple has done of beta three, just week after beta two, we can expect now Apple to release a new update every week until the release of iOS 15.4 to the public. So you can expect Apple to release a new update for iOS 15.4. Of course, that will be beta four. That should happen on February 22nd. That's next Tuesday. So you can expect Apple to release a new update for this beta right here. Now, as far as the public release goes, we have talked about that in a previous video. So Apple is holding a virtual event on March the 8th. So you can expect this update also to be released on that date. If not the public release, it should be the GM version. So you can expect Apple to release the GM version on the 8th and then on the 14th, we might see iOS 15.4 getting released to the public with all these amazing new features and changes. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 15.4, an amazing update with a lot of big new features and changes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. I will see you on the next one.